Here at home, the city of Pontiac is honoring a woman who started life as a slave in Macomb County and then did something no black person had ever done before in the state of Michigan. Her life sounds like it could easily be turned into a movie, but today it's a mural painting tribute to her amazing journey. Our Megan Woods takes us to the ribbon cutting and shares her story. Here at Oak Hill Cemetery in Pontiac, Elizabeth Dennison Fourth has a drive named after her and a historic marker, but a local artist says that's just not enough. That's why he created this 60 foot tall mural to get the attention of anyone passing through. They didn't know about it, but they'll know about it now. That was artist Zach Curtis goal. He handpicked Elizabeth Dennison Fourth for his biggest project yet. Definitely kind of did my research and kind of narrowed it down. I had a handful of different people and uh, it was kind of like a home run. I saw her story and it was just like, this, this is perfect, this is it. Elizabeth was born into slavery in what's now Macomb County. She escaped to Canada and returned as a free woman. In 1825, she was the first black person to buy land in what's now Pontiac. Michigan wasn't even a state yet. Zach took it upon himself to really get this project going. This has kind of been the wall I've always wanted to paint. I was kind of getting tired of waiting, so I just took it upon myself. So I got into contact with the building owner, raised the funds myself, and uh, designed it all and just got out there and started painting. Thanks to the community and sponsors like Main Street Pontiac, in just a month, he raised $12,000. From there, Zach spent two and a half weeks painting, and every minute was worth it. While you're painting this, you're kind of like taking in what it stands for, uh, what it means for the community. For Pontiac City Councilwoman Melanie Rutherford, it means hope. As somebody who is trying to be a homeowner, and I'm not just saying it for the camera, it's real. Every time I ride past here, I smile a little bit because I know that my day is coming and I'm going to own a piece of the American dream as well. As the city is working on its comeback, Mayor Tim Grimel says this mural represents just that. Life is a story of rebirth. It's a story of successfully aspiring to greater things. And that really is the story of Pontiac. And that includes being a place for economic opportunity, like it was for Elizabeth all those years ago. So next time you pass through Pontiac, look for this face and dare to ask who that woman is. Some little girl gonna say, Mama, who is that? Who that black woman? And when they say that, you can say, honey, that's Elizabeth Dennis Forbes. She was the first. She owned houses. She owned property. And she is a strong black woman. In Pontiac, I'm Megan Woods, Local 4. Thank you, Megan. If you want to check out that mural, it is near the Riker building. That's on Huron Street in downtown Pontiac. You can also find pieces of Elizabeth's legacy in other spots in Metro Detroit. When she died, she donated money to build a St. James Episcopal Chapel on Grosse Hill.